He spoke about God and his prophet, the men say in Arabic. Moments later, police bring out this shackled prisoner. He is lashed 50 times. Ensaf Haidar says she believes this unverified cell phone video shows Saudi police flogging her husband, Raif Badawi. Every lash killed me. There are no words to describe how I felt. The activist started an online forum in 2008 that his wife says was meant to encourage discussion about the faith. Badawi was arrested that same year, charged with insulting Islam. After a lengthy legal battle, a Jeddah court sentenced the blogger to 10 years in prison and 1,000 lashes. That means the ordeal is not over. Badawi will be lashed 50 times every Friday for 19 more consecutive weeks. Speaking from Quebec in Canada, Haida called for her husband's immediate release. Respect the right to opinion. Raif did not do anything. Raif did not carry a weapon. Raif's only weapon was his pen. Human Rights Watch condemned the sentence on Saturday, saying publicly lashing a peaceful activist merely for expressing his ideas sends an ugly message of intolerance. Saudi Arabia is showing a willingness to inflict vicious and cruel punishments on writers whose views it rejects. Days earlier, the Gulf state had condemned the terrorist attack on satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo in Paris, saying it was, quote, incompatible with Islam. A chorus of criticism quickly grew online, ridiculing the double standard. This cartoon shows a red line representing a split. The side labelled outside shows a flowery statement in support of free speech. The other half marked domestically recreates the flogging. The Saudi Foreign Ministry refused to comment to CNN on Badawi's case, citing it as a legal issue, not a political one. Allies in the West now asking how can a nation that whips and even beheads stand against ISIS for the same? Becky Anderson, CNN, Abu Dhabi.